In this problem, we're going to differentiate this function. So recall the derivative of the natural log of x is just 1 over x. So here, when we take the derivative, it's 1 over this times the derivative of all of this. Now, when you first look at this problem, you should be thinking, can it be rewritten in a nice way? Well, we can't really use any of the properties of logs because it's something plus something else. So if you have something like the natural log of a plus b, well, what is this? Well, I don't know, actually. There's nothing really nice for this. There's nothing. There's no real nice formula when you have a plus. It's only when it's something like this, ln a times b, then that would be ln a plus ln b. Um, but if you have, if you have a, uh, a plus here, like we do here, you can't really do anything. However, there is a square root here, so if we're just going to differentiate this, Knowing that we have to differentiate the inside, let's go ahead and rewrite that square root as a one-half power, because that will make it easier when we do differentiate. So let's at least do that. So this will be x plus parentheses 2 plus x squared to the one-half, and then we have the parentheses. Okay, so now we're just going to do it. We're going to carefully take this derivative. So f prime of x... This is equal to, so it's 1 over all of this, so 1 over x plus, then we have 2 plus x squared to the 1 half, times the derivative of the inside function. So the derivative of x is 1. Notice I'm putting parentheses. There's two terms we have to differentiate, so it's times both terms, so it's really in parentheses. So 1 plus... This derivative requires a chain rule. You have something to a power, so you put the one half in the front. So we get one half, two plus x squared. Beautiful. One half minus one is negative one half. So this is negative one half times the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of x squared is two x. So this is two x. Boom, that's how pros do it. Really nice problem. I really like this problem. And look, the twos go away. So this is equal to, I'm just going to leave this mess up top. This is 1 plus, I'm just going to leave it like that. So x, ooh, really easy to forget the x. I feel like I've done that before in the past. Maybe it was in another life, but I feel like I have made that mistake where I've rewritten this and I've forgotten the x. I'm pretty sure I've done that. This is x plus 2 plus x squared to the 1 half. And that is the final answer. You could probably simplify it, but... In my view, that looks good enough. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.